so welcome back guys and in this video i'm going to show you how to send an email using a queue all right sending an email using a queue the right way so i have a bare laravel project here with nothing at all this is just a brand new laravel project that i've just created so let me just open this project with my editor here uh, I, I'm using uh, PHP Storm, so if you like to follow along, you can use the same. So let me just open this guy here. All right. And also, if you want to know my setup, I also use uh, Laragon uh, most of the time just to manage my projects. And so I'll go inside here and this queue up. This is the I'll open in a new window. So this is the application that uh, I've just created. I've named it as Queue Up. All right. All right. Nothing fancy. Totally nothing at all. Uh, we just have this user controller here with nothing actually added a function here, but it doesn't matter. It just empties that. So what I'm going to do? I'm just going to create. Um, now let's see i'll just go inside the env just to set the environmental variable so that we can uh, able to use the database because we need the database in this uh in this case so i'll scroll down where is our db so database laravel root this is fine for now so i'm just going to just going to run PHP artisan migrate for now. So say PHP artisan migrate. It will ask me because I haven't created this database. It will ask me if I want to create um, this database. Yeah, you see, I'll say yes. Go ahead and then migrate the tables. All right, now we have migrated the table. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going inside the web.php. I'm just going to create one method in this case, and this um, one route, and this route is going to be, uh, I'm going to say send email like that, and then is going inside the user controller and is going to call send email. All right, so I'll go inside the user controller. I'll just create this method very fast here. Um, send email like that. Uh, that is enough for now, All right? And then the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a mail class. I believe it is PHP artisan make is it make mail make mail let me say test i believe so make mail test email let's see yeah it has created a mailable class here inside the app mail you'll find our test email there so i'll go inside the app so we have our mail here so inside this guy you'll find a fancy yeah for now, I won't do anything. I just leave the way it is here. So we have uh, the constructor where we'll pass the you know the data that we want to this mail class. We have here the envelope method where you pass you know things like uh, the subject, the from, the email, whatever. And then we have the view. So I'll create a view. Uh, I'll just call this view email. Okay, let's just call this view test email like this so we'll create that view this is the view that will be used as a template for this email and then if you have any attachment you will use here on the attachment so let me just create that view inside our resource views of course i'm going to create a new uh, new file call it test email dot blade dot php like that one and then here we can just have uh, 
I just have a simple HTML guy here. And now we need uh, inside our guy here, inside our controller, we need to call our mail plus so that when we execute the route, we need to send this email. So here we're going to call the mail uh, static method to here we need to pass an email and I'm going to pass my email that I'll just use for this example dot com gmail dot com need to call the send method and then you say here you need to pass uh, you need to pass the, the the class that you're using for for uh sending the email so i just import this guy i'll do this just to format this and then we are good to go so the last thing that we need to do is go inside the mail at uh, the dot env class and you know add this uh, mailer data so i'm going to add this very fast all right so i'm going just to paste this yeah make sure you use your own data so this is my data so just add this data and then we are good to go and you know send the email so let us try and hit this endpoint here this is uh send email and see what we'll get all right so what i can do actually here on the controller let me just add uh, what let me just add um a dd and say uh email was sent successfully just to get a, a fancy and beautiful message so i'm going to go slash send a sh email like this hit enter as you can notice this is taking <laughs> way more time than we expected all right and lastly we are getting the response email was sent successfully so let me check my email and see if we got the email actually guys as you can see i got the email this test uh, but imagine that the email took around around one minute or i don't know 30 seconds which is a really poor poor experience and you know what guys this is where i got you so this is where now the the beauty of queues comes in all right we want the response for the user to be as quick as possible even while processing you know the sending and all these things behind the scene so let us see now how we can be able to improve this experience and make it much more smoother and you know using queues so i'm here in laravel 10 i'm going to scroll down so i'm here on queues and i'm just going let's just you know let's just explore this documentation and you know enjoying applying all these things that are here we'll try a couple of things and see how we can be able you know to work it out so when you read through the documentation you are told there's a, this section for database in order to use you know the database queue driver you'll need a database table to hold the jobs all right so kindly if you don't understand what is going here make sure to check out my first videos my first video on queue you'll understand what job is so job are simply information about um about something that needs to be processed all right so jobs are simply tasks that have been placed in a queue so and a queue in this case uh is our database all right our database will be our queue so now you are being told that uh in order to use database as your queue you will need database table of course to do that and to generate a migration for this uh, table you need to run queue table so let us do that so i'll copy this let us go to uh, let me copy this again for here i'll run that so we are told migration was run successfully then you'll have to run php artisan migrate now php artisan migrate and that will create you know the jobs table that uh, will store our jobs 
So uh, the next thing we are told here is that uh, you need to set the queue connection in the .env file as database. So that is what you're going to do very fast. I'm going to say the env, scroll to where are queues. Queues, where are you? Queues, stop hiding. Queues, please. And here we go. I have to say this is database. All right. And the last thing, actually, I think we are done here. So now when I scroll down to the documentation, now we are told how to generate jobs. So this is what we are going to do. So PHP artisan make job and then the name of the job. So in our case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create an email job. So let me just clear this and say PHP artisan and make job let's call this email job because it will be handling the emails of course so now uh, when i go back to my code now we should have a job class here so it has created this guy and so if you want your task to be placed into you know into a queue what you'll do you need to uh to declare those um you know those function or whatever the computation that you're doing in the handle method and everything that you put in the handle method will be uh will be put on the queue all right and if you want to pass that of course you use the constructor so this is just the simple structure of the queue what i'm going to do is now our mail guy here um on the controller instead of calling this guy here now i'm going to cut this mail and i'm going to place it inside um our job guy inside the the handle you know the handle method like that and then now on the user controller what i'm going to do now i'm going to call uh this job or um if you read the documentation it simply means uh dispatching so i'm just going to say email uh job and i'm going to call a dispatch method and since this you know this method here uh, we are not passing anything so this is just okay so one thing also to note is that when you are queued to work you need to pass this command here php artisan queue work so that command needs uh, to be running behind the scene all right because what you'll be doing is that uh, when you execute that send email that job will be placed in a, in a queue uh, in our case the database and if there is no workers workers are the you know the components that are used to execute the task which has been stored in the database and if the workers are not active then this email won't be sent let me just show you for example now if we so if now you go here and say localhost so now we are using the queue to send our email let's see if this will improve you know our guy here dash send email hit enter and as you can see, this is instant, all right? It is just taking around two, I believe two or three seconds and I've gotten the response. Um, the interesting thing is that this email actually hasn't been sent. Why? Because it is still in the queue and you need what we call, you know, workers. Workers are simply components um, of queues and they are, you know, they are the, they are the guys who are constantly or uh, actively watching out for you know the the queues the jobs in the queues and execute them so you need to have your queue uh, your workers running all right and the way you do this so currently i haven't received any email but if you go to the database and you go to you know to the job table you see that there is an entry and this is the entry for the job of the email so in order to execute this job through the worker you will go to this guy in the, you know, in the in the terminal and say PHP artisan, and then you'll say Q, and then you'll say work. So this will uh, activate the workers so that they can be able to execute the job that you have in the database. And as you can see, running processing jobs uh, from the default queue. And then after a while you receive done all right 
so you receive done and now if i go to my email hopefully i should be able to see uh the email we'll refresh here yeah all right now we have the email here that is how we are able to use q and optimize the performance so let me just go back again and you know just send this thing one more time so i'll just eat you know refresh this thing it takes maybe one or two seconds and then i get a response all right totally different from the first time whereby it was taking around 10 seconds or 15 seconds and actually since i have left the queue running all right since i've left the queue running here as you can see it has already processed the second email which i've just sent and uh, if you just noted i've just uh, from my you know from my phone i've just received the email right here so let me just check in my gmail here in my laptop and see and as you can see now again from my email i've received another email all right and that is it guys that is how you can be able to use cues to send email so later in um so now if i go back to the database like actually let me just show you if i refresh then we'll have nothing uh on this table this is because this queue will have been processed let me just refresh this so you see once i refresh there is nothing here and this is because this uh queue uh this job has been processed and so that is how guys you can be able to use queue uh to manage your emails very simple very straightforward and um, i hope you have been able to learn so in the next in the next uh lesson i'll be able to show you how now you can be able to have many queues running now you can be able you know to set their priority how you can be able to set maybe uh if they fail things of that of that nature and with that guys thank you so much like subscribe and until you meet again bye bye in the happy coding